Hello everybody. So I am going to demonstrate how to make some geometric shape art and this is a great project for beginners or if you're working with school children or you just have a very limited budget. This is a great, fun, easy way to make something that's really nice. So I have my salt shaker because it is shaped like a hexagon. So I'm simply going to start by tracing around my salt shaker. So this is what I have. And you can see that the page I have isn't even clean. And none of it's gonna matter. I just call it texture. That's just called texture. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've traced my salt shaker six times. And trace whatever you have. So now I'm only gonna use two pencils and the point of using just two pencils is to show you that even with limited resources, you can still get something that's interesting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little Venn diagram areas and start coloring them in. Now, since I'm only using two colors, I don't want the same color touching anywhere. So I'm going to start combining these two colors. Like right here, I'm going to take this color that's a little bit more teal and I'm going to push a little bit harder because when you push a little bit harder, you're going to get different color values and that's going to add to the depth and complexity of the, of the project. So now I'm going over the dark teal with the green color and you see I've got a new color now and I'm going to do that same new color here I'm taking the green and I'm going pretty hard with this now and I'm also coloring in all directions I'm not really even being careful so this is really good for you know students maybe with disabilities or kids who are still learning about coloring and how to get colors onto the paper because really you can do this any way and it's going to still come out looking great. You're not going to have to worry about the direction it's going and I'm also using cheap crayons from I think these were Walmart crayons so this there's nothing fancy about this project at all. You can see now I have a different color because I've mixed the blue and the green. So now I have the bluer of the two and I'm just going to go really lightly with this color. So it's giving me a different value. some hatch marks on it. You go one way and then the other. And now see here I am again. I've got these I've got this dark teal mixture color here. I have the blue and then the green. So I'm going to do a very very light blue across it. So it's going to change it but it's still going to give it something different from the one next to it.
And you know that the um, best selling, the New York Times bestseller books are actually coloring books. And there's something very meditative and relaxing about coloring. So this is a great way to do that and you don't have to go out and spend, you know, seven, eight, twelve bucks. I've seen some pretty expensive coloring books. You don't have to spend any money at all. And you can use the backside of uh, junk mail or flyers that you get. And if you're doing this with children, I would encourage you to do a small segment or limit them to six or seven, five or six, because what happens is if you give them a whole piece of paper, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So if you make a small space for them to do this in, they'll have good results and it won't take that much time. You know that children don't always have a lot of attention, so give them a little bit. And now I'm taking just a regular ballpoint pen and I'm going to come back across these lines and bring out some of those lines. And if I make it too big, not a problem. You can make some of them big or deep. You can make some of the lines really solid, some of them not so much. And all of this will add interest to the picture. Let's see, I can't even find this one. Okay, let's see. All right, this one goes here. Geometric shapes, and it was completely free. It only cost me my time. 